Okay, now I was talking about um, his water. He said he had a bottle of water in the uh, in the cockpit. There it is. Look, you can just see the cap there. So he's, he's definitely got water with him. Now whether he stuck it down his top before he jumped, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But you remember I was talking about the pitot tube on the outside, uh, the little black hose that disappears up into the wing. Well, that looks like the tube there. Look, I think you can see that because that was a vacuum-driven thing, and uh, it measures dynamic. No, it's not vacuum-driven, is it? It measures dynamic pressure against static pressure, and this looks like the tube that goes down to his airspeed indicator. See that? Now, I'm not an aeroplane mechanic, okay, but I would assume that that bit of rubber there would have to connect to that tube there in order to give him airspeed. Because um, the wings can come on and off these aeroplanes and you have to be able to disconnect fuel pipes. I mean, you know, that could be a fuel pipe. Come on to the, if you, you see, a lot of aeroplanes have a tank in each wing. I know for a fact the Taylor Craft has got a tank in the front here, just behind the camera as we're looking at this angle. So it's definitely got a front tank. But, uh, and this is this is a. I guess what they do is they open the, the tank, and then the fuel flows from the wing tank down into the front tank, and maybe all the fuel feeds from the front tank. So this here is either a disconnected fuel tank. And anyone who's ever flown a Taylor Craft will know this if it's true or not. This is either a fuel pipe, which is disconnected, which proves there's no fuel in that wing, and there's only fuel in this wing, which would mean that when he jumped out it would roll to the right, which it did, didn't fly straight away from him, because he'd never catch it, would he, on his parachute, if it just kept going in a straight line, so it would be, you know, if the thing was staged, he would want uh, at least fill this tank with water and disconnect it, so that the thing will orbit to the right and uh, descend, so it wouldn't go very far when, before it crashed, so hopefully he could catch up with it and there's a there's a very loose looking cable down here this is probably a control cable some description going to the tail I don't know exactly but this this pipe worries me I don't know what that is and if it's his airspeed indicator um, then it's clearly not going to work is it unless that black rubber is pushed over that tube now I know there's a lot of aeroplane licensed engineers out there that know this better than me, so perhaps you could leave your comments down below. That would be great, thank you.